Hi you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. So I know that many of you are clicking on today's video because we have similar body types. You've seen me um, doing the best jeans for a size six to eight, 28 to 29, um, even 27 to 29 depending on the brand. But, but today's video is the best shorts for a size six to eight slash 28 to 29. Um, I'm really excited about today's video because I know that the spring and summer is here and you guys are looking for some really comfortable shorts that aren't gonna cut off your blood circulation and come up a little bit high-waisted just to cover up that pooch that we all have. Um, so if you guys are interested, make sure you keep on watching. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please subscribe down below. I do make new videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, I also have an Instagram account, which I do a lot of styling videos and makeup videos and pretty much the same stuff as my YouTube channel. So make sure you come um, follow me there. But without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so let's start off with the first pair that I wanted to show you guys. Um, these ones are the Levi's 501 um, denim shorts in the white color. I'm not exactly sure the name of all of these, but I'll leave links to everything down below, specific sizing and prices and everything like that. Um, so make sure you guys go check out the description box. This one here I purchased from Amazon, but also I think Shopbop was the seller that I purchased it from Amazon. Um, these ones are in a size 28. These ones are in a size 28. The try on portion will be right after this, but um, I just wanted to show you guys all the details and like the specs of everything. So it's got a button fly detail. I want to say, I actually have a measuring tape. Let's check. <sighs> Hair in my face. Um, it is a do, 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 about two inch inseam. Yeah, it's got about a two inch inseam using a measuring tape. So yeah, these are the first pair. So let's take a look and see what they look like on. Um, and it kind of does a pretty good job at covering for the most part, like the back of my butt area, that's really nice. And the stretch is really stretchy. So even though my waist is a size like 27, my butt is a size 28. So that's why these ones are nice because I can just belt this. I don't really mind that they're loose and it kind of makes my stomach look a little bit flatter. Um, yes, my bruise is starting to heal. That's why it kind of has discoloration, but it's got a finished seam um, at the bottom. It's not frayed at all. These ones, these shorts fit really similarly to my Levi white jeans that you guys have seen on my channel before. Um, my thighs aren't popping out of the shorts, which is really nice. And um, yeah, they're just really comfortable. Here's the back. It's definitely like not straight up in my butt, which I love, um, but it just gives me a nice figure. And um, pretty stretchy when I sit down. They're not really, really like, they don't cut my blood circulation off when I sit down, which is great. Um, so yeah, these are really, really amazing. And I highly recommend these if you're looking for a clean denim white short. Um, these ones are definitely a new favorite of mine. Um, I definitely want to purchase more of this specific style. So these are the Levi's wedgie short um, in a size 28. Again, I bought these on Amazon. It was in the middle of the night and I was was like thinking about summer and what I was going to be doing and how I needed some cute shorts. So um, I ended up making a huge Amazon order with like all these different shorts and clothes and that's what happens when you get in that, you get in that mood at night. You know what I mean? Like it's right around 1130 and you're like, hmm, let me just see what's on Amazon. I don't know, it's just me. I always do that. Um, anyways, this one is really distressed. I love it. Um, size 28 again, not as stretchy as the other one. Same button fly detail. And the inseam is looking like, doo -doo -doo, it's about two, it's about two and a half inches exactly. Yeah, it's about two and a half inches of an inseam. So let's go ahead and look at what they look like on. I felt like a question I was gonna get about the Levi shorts especially was, how do they fit in comparison to their um, like jean versions of the like style shorts. This one here is the wedgie fit and these are um, They are tighter than the 501 for sure the stretch is not as stretchy as you can see compared to the white Shorts that I showed you these ones aren't as stretchy. They don't come out of my waist as much however, I think that this one gives me a lot more like shape and um, Because you can see that it kind of fits right along my waist. There's not a lot of gapping in between um, the waist fits a little bit tighter 
I love these because when I buy denim shorts, they show off my like actual butt a lot. And it's not even just like like the butt part that like curls. Like I have an extra bit of like thigh right here. And it's nice because this one covers it for the most part. So this came like that. Like it came with the distressing on the back. Even though I purchased the size 28 in these, it fits a little bit tighter around my waist than the 501 style. They really remind me a lot of the Agoldi shorts that are really famous on like Revolve. Like when I sit down, they are a little bit tight like right in this area when I sit down, but um, it's nothing like, it's not like unbearable, like I'm gonna die. It just feels like, oh, it's a little tight and snug around that area. Last and final pair of denim shorts here um, are these 501s. Now, these ones like do run big. You'll see in the cutaway like, but again, um, these ones have the button fly detail, which is amazing. I love that part of it. The inseam on this one is a little bit short only because like the raw hem makes it roll up a lot, um, but it looks like it's exactly at two inches, feels like, feels like an inch when I wear it, slash like inch and a half. These pair of jeans, are kind of stretchy um, so if you have a little bit of a like stronger thigh then I recommend maybe trying out the 501 if you don't really like a high 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 waisted style as well so in my opinion the 501 um, shorts aren't as flattering as the wedgie but in terms of how comfortable they are they're really really comfortable um, that's why I wanted to include them in this video because um, these ones don't run as high so as you guys could see in the other ones this one like if I raised my arm like you would see my stomach and everything which I am super not comfortable with it shows a little bit more of my butt but it's still kind of covered for these ones I would wear these like more casually like when I'm not really like trying to dress up a pair of denim shorts like if I'm really just going out and need to go to the grocery store, these are the kinds of shorts I'd wear. Like I said, I really like getting size 28 just because even though the waist is a little bit bigger, um, the butt is so much more comfortable. My thighs are a lot more comfortable in them. If I had size down to a 27, I already know that it would have been like, like it would have fit my um, waist much better, but my butt would have been really, 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 really like uncomfortable in these shorts. So um, for me, I like these because they're, like I said, they're kind of like a poolside short, which is great. Like if you're just kind of chilling poolside, but these are another great denim pair, but let's move on to the dressier shorts. Zara is like one of my go-to stores for everything. These ones here are almost like a formal type of um, pant and um, it's not so tight where it looks kind of sexy sexy formal. It's very like formal formal. You know what I mean? If I was working in an office and it was a really hot day, I would feel very, very comfortable wearing these. They're not oov, over, over. I was trying to say overly and uber and uber came out. So we're just going to go with it. Overly short. Um, and yeah, these ones are really comfortable. I think you guys can kind of see when I come up close. These are what the shorts look like. Um, they're very, very well like tailored. Um, they've got pockets, a side silver zip. The inseam looks like it's about two and a half to three inches somewhere around there. Um, they fit like kind of like boy shorts, which I like. Um, but again, it's just covered in the back, just a finished hem. Um, and even though they might not be like everyone's cup of tea, for me, I really wanted these to wear formally with like a blazer over um, in the summer just to give me like another option but yeah these come up super duper high which I love like my boob ends right here and I have like about an inch in between um, and the last pair of shorts I wanted to show you guys are these ones here this is by H&M these were like $14.99 from what I remember and I recently did an H&M um, $50 outfit challenge and I showed you guys that I purchased these I'm planning on taking these to my trip to Korea, which I leave this Friday, and I like can't wait. I really, really love these. They're so comfortable and just like really casual, stretchy, and for $14.99, I don't think you can beat a really like just like comfortable pair of shorts like these. These shorts, these H&M shorts are the cheapest of the group. Um, these are not as see-through, honestly, as the denim ones are. Like I feel like, yes, they are kind of see-through, but you can just wear like nude underwear. But 
they're not as see-through as the denim uh, Levi shorts. I really wanted to include these because they have really quickly become my favorite. They're so stretchy, like they're really, really nice and comfortable. They're really tailored and fitted. They're not too short and not too long in my opinion. Like uh, I'm gonna come up close here and you guys can see um, it's got the tortoise little button here. Because it is a zip fly, I think it could have the tendency to kind of, if you ate a lot and you like stuck your stomach out, it could show a little bit of your stomach if that's something that you're worried about. They cover my butt really, really well. I still have a lot of space and they come up fairly high, which is my favorite part. So these are the H&M shorts and they come in some really neutral colors, which I love. They give me enough stretch around my butt which is like the most important part. My butt and my thighs, like my waist is something that I'm like, okay, I don't really care as much about, but when they are just, when these shorts are cutting off your blood circulation on your thighs, you know what I'm talking about when you sit down and they're just like right in the crevice and you're just like, gosh, I need to stand up. But then when you stand up, it's like just a mess and your shorts are rolled up to your like panty line. I don't know, is it just me? Those are all of the shorts that I have rounded up. Um, now, if you are someone who is a short fanatic as well and you love them and you know you have some really, really amazing uh, recommendations, please leave them for us in the comment section down below because I'm always open to looking at new styles and new clothes, new brands and everything like that and trying out different places. For me, when I look for denim, my, my go-to place is Levi's, it always has been. Um, so yeah, if, if you're the same way, definitely check out these shorts in the description box down below. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. That definitely helps me out. And I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.